well, I know I want to live in New York City. I know I want to or live in LA. And I know I want to be doing this cool thing. When we look at that in a little bit more detail, okay, yeah, we're in New York City. We have a cool apartment. We have a great view of Manhattan and we have a cat in the window and everything is sweet. What are we doing to make that possible? Well, every day we're going to an office, either in virtually or in person, and we're having a ton of conversations with people about topics of relevance to that firm. So the outputs, the results that they want to get, right? Conversations with bosses, following up with other third party individuals, talking to our colleagues, making a phone call, sending emails, lots of communication. So that's the output of our job hunt is getting paid to do that work. So what's happening then to make that output possible? Well, it's going to have something to do with the inputs of the job hunt. So what are your inputs look like? Well, in order for the outputs to look like that, getting paid to talk to people with actual colleagues, actual bosses, we want to be talking over here with potential colleagues and potential bosses. And we're not going to get paid at that stage yet, but we're getting experience doing the thing that we're going to get paid for over here. So inputs are going to drive your outputs. So just think about your job hunt in terms of some basic concepts, principles that are going to kind of explain everything for you. One of them very insightful is I think it's okay. I'm I'm biased. I think it's insightful. Inputs and outputs. What are my outputs? What are my inputs? If my inputs are always just applying, my outputs are always going to be mostly just rejection and not hearing back. If I'm actually engaging with people about topics of interest, that means I'm getting better. I'm on a good learning curve. Then I'm going to have results over here that reflect the input. So that is this other concept of inputs and outputs. And I've got a lot of material here on my website and other areas to help, help you kind of get clear on what other inputs you might wanna be involving in your job hunt now so that you can get the desired output that you want.